Okay, so I was asked the question, I felt like I was dying. It was like a, it was like a stroke. And, um, and also later on that profound experiences come in and go in and out. There was experiences with these profound experiences going in and out. And when are these things transcended forever? So that was the question I was asked. I'd just like to give my reply to that. So here's the thing. Uh, usually when you do advanced spiritual work, especially if you seek enlightenment, um, at the death of the ego forevermore, um, when you get serious, usually the feelings of dying start to get uh, um, more regular. And uh, the last experience, which is usually the death of the ego, is the final thing, because the ego does fear its, its death not not to exist any longer so there does come these experiences they, they often are contextualized as physical death and certain belief systems may think like it feels like you're having a panic attack or you can't breathe which is ones i had um, and various other things terror of death and non-existence all kinds of things and also uh, huge kinds of physical flare-ups which is also common uh, like you're going to face death or have a heart attack or have a stroke now, um, in, I'm not going to say anything like avoid your doctor or anything or call an ambulance. If that's you feel called to do that, then by all means, uh, go ahead and do that. Um, so th it's it's your it's your option. I mean, the um, I would share from my experiences that um, I had absolute faith in my teacher, Dr. David R. Hawkins. He's an author. He's on YouTube. He's got loads of books. He's a, he's a famous author, he, he, author of Power Versus Force and Letting Go. I met him a few times and I, he's my teacher and I took on board everything he said, which has led to spectacular, miraculous uh, experiences. But um, yeah, so eventually as you confront the ego, these um, and he gives techniques for dissolving illnesses through cancellation of beliefs, using the Course in Miracles, uh, which I teach in this group, and he um, he also talks about the death of the ego and how he went through the death of the ego, which feels like it feels like a death, and he's willing not to back down from that and to allow the experience of dying to occur, and then he was catapulted into infinite light, um, and his ego uh, never returned. Uh, I, I can describe that in a different way, but um, that usual identification with thoughts giving the experience of separation never occurred in his life evermore, even though something was there that seemed to speak, the ego was not there. So that's what we call the classical state of enlightenment. So one, and, and as with Ramana and all teachers of enlightenment, my, and all the teachers that I respect of enlightenment, they go through this last death, which is the dying, the experience of the dying of the ego. And then they go into the enlightened state. Um, as Hawkins said, 50% of them actually don't return to the body. The light is so intense and there is an undocking from the physical body. Some of them may go into bliss states for months or years before they speak again, because the states are so profound. Um, but anyway, so um, I had, um, so in terms of that, uh, the dark, when you're really uh, an advanced seeker, you may get that feeling of dying. Uh, and if you feel like your physical body is going to die uh, and you want to call an ambulance, then uh, do that. Um, I myself have often um, gone through extreme feelings of pain, uh, asthma attacks, panic attacks, like I was going to die, and was willing to go through them. Uh, without using, I've had profound mystical experiences. I had uh, my first major one was letting go of food addiction, where um, I was now willing to um, stop overeating. And um, I had a panic attack in the middle of the night, like I couldn't breathe, I was going to die. And I binged on it the first time. The second time I said, I'm willing to die. I will not, I will not binge or use anything. I'll just sit through it. And if it kills me, so be it. But I will not use on the food. And it was 15 minutes of absolute excruciating agony. And then the panic attack passed for the very first time. I'd not overeaten on that feeling. And that's the start of 15 years of abstinence in a 12-step in a, in a, in a food fellowship. 
So that's my experience of not fucking down or using anything in the world when the absolute feeling of death, because I, I was used to using addiction to cope with feelings, uh, happened. The, the other one was when I was watching a DVD by my self-inquiry teacher. I don't usually mention his name uh, 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 because, anyway, I won't mention his name. This is on video. But... Um, uh, and uh, but uh, I had the feeling of dying as uh, the teacher was talking about being the witnesser of thoughts and witnesser of the body. And um, what I realized was it was really hard to, you know, um, the thoughts came thick and fast not to go through the death. And the thought came up like, I'm going to cry in front of the, uh, the two other people in the room. And don't cry because you look stupid. And I latched onto that thought, identified with it. And that feeling of dying stopped immediately. It's like I had refused going through the death of the ego. So what I that my experience was is very easy not to be enlightened, because it just you just latch on to anything the ego tells you not to go through the experience, and and the experience stops of dying. So that was my experience anyway. Um, now the question was um, uh, probably when you're doing the advanced observer practice, you will get mystical experiences where pains and illnesses. And things suddenly disappear, a panic attack, or you're going to die in the next minute, you're fine. And uh, that for me is just showing the huge resistance of the ego as you're getting very close to uh, transcending it. Um, my own, I guess I, I have to say, belief on the, on the matter is that until it's completely finished, there will be this in and out of you know these mystical experiences and then suddenly being back in the ego again. Uh, and then again, extreme mystical experiences and then being identified with the ego again. They go in and out until it's, the job's finished. Till the ego's finished, the ego uh, can regenerate and cause all kinds of illnesses, pains, aches, fears, and all kinds of thoughts. So there is this transcending, but generally as you do more of the observer work, um, they get more distant and faded. And um, But you may uh, at the end get a huge ego attack as the ego tries to exert its dominance not to not not to lose its dominance as the motivating uh, illusory force okay i'll stop the video